Hey, what's good everybody? Welcome back. It's Brandon with Campbell Fitness and I'm sitting here at my desk answering emails, you know, the stuff I normally do. Responding to you guys. A lot of you guys have been asking about this Wendler thing. So from my workout video today, or depending on when I upload this the other day from my lower day, I had mentioned that I'm off Wendler, which has brought a lot of people to ask, why'd you go off Wendler? Well, Wendler's a program that I had done for several months. I had done Wendler twice. And within the last year, I've only really done two programs, an upper lower and Wendler. There was probably like a three week period where I played around with a push pull leg split. Because push pull legs or upper lowers, even just a straight push pull, are typically the routines that I go to all the time. Those are the ones that I've used the most, I'd say, over the past decade or so. So it's kind of interesting because people are like, oh my God, what's wrong? Why are you going off Wendler? You switch programs all the time. Even within the last year, I've only really been on two programs, Wendler and then an upper lower. And I love my upper lowers. If you've watched any of my other videos, you would know that. Um, and it's just interesting to hear people kind of get, I guess I guess the best term to use is butt hurt. Uh, they get butt hurt over the fact that I'm not on Wendler anymore. Uh, but it's a personal preference. It's just something where I wasn't really happy with it. And I'm sure you guys kind of noticed it as I tried to switch things up quite a bit. You know, I went from one different assistance program to the next, and what I found was when I first went off of it um, and came back on, it just really wasn't the same. I was making great gains the first time I went on. I was doing the triumvirate, uh, triumvirate, I can't even speak, the big but boring a little bit. I was making great gains, went off of it, came back, and just wasn't really the same. And that's not to say it's not a great program. I really like Wendler. I would highly suggest to a lot of people, in fact, I have, and I've heard your guys' feedback saying you guys have seen great gains on it and that's awesome but I was just at the point where I've been training long enough to just know when something's not sitting right with me and if, when I'm sitting there worrying about my program worrying about how I'm gonna set it up not happy with the numbers I was seeing just made the most sense to go back to something that I'm more tried and true as far as what I've seen consistent progress on for many years and that's a straight up or lower now I am playing around with the structure of that a little bit as I mentioned I implemented a straight power day as outlined by Alberto Nunez of 3DMJ um, so some tweaks here and there aren't bad but I really like training and I'm having a fun time doing it don't see the issue with it um, I know a lot of you guys might not agree with that but that's okay you don't have to when, when it comes down to it I'm the one who's going in there and I'm the one busting my hump to do it. And I think most people can agree that I'm doing pretty well as far as my lifts, how they're progressing, and there's no real reason to knock it. Now, if you're a big fan of Wendler, that's cool. Like I said, I like it a lot. Just right now, upper lower is what I want to do. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, so I said I'd kind of explain it, and that's it. I'm not going to get any more in depth because honestly, that's all there is. But you know, if you guys feel the need to know the reason I went off it, that's why. And I hope that answers that question. If you have more questions about it, leave them in the comment section. I'll be sure and happy to answer them. In the meantime, everybody, thanks for watching and stay big.